This is how you animate a neon text effect in Premiere Pro. To get started, select the Type tool or just hit the T shortcut to add your text. If you double click on the text layer, the essential graphics panel will pop up. Now let's change the font. Keep in mind that this neon effect shines brightest with light and thin fonts. Go ahead change the font size and its alignment. You can easily bring your text to the center using the alignment buttons. There are a few ways to add a neon effect, so let's dive into the first technique. A simple way to start is by adding a shadow to your text. Choose a color that suits your style, then set the opacity to 100%, and both the distance and size to zero. We'll be playing around with the size and blur value next. Now hold down the Alt or Option key, and drag to duplicate the layer. I need for more layer. Let's change the label color to keep things organized. Starting from the bottom layer, gradually increase the text shadow's blur value to your liking. We'll repeat this process until the end. For the topmost text layer, crank up the blur and size value to 1000. If you want to control the intensity, feel free to lower the opacity value. Now, let's move on to the second technique. First, duplicate the same text layer. Select it, then head over to the effects panel. Search for the drop shadow effect and double click to apply it. Next, head to the effect controls panel, scroll down, and start by changing the shadow color. Using the eyedropper tool, I'll pick that same magenta color. Set the opacity to 100%, distance to 0 and the softness to 15. Just like in the previous technique where we duplicated 5 different text layers, we'll now copy the same drop shadow effect and paste it 5 more times, gradually increasing the softness value each time. Let's paste it one more time, this time setting the opacity to 60%. Now, it's time to add some animation. Move to frames forward and cut the clip by pressing Ctrl or Command K at a few cuts and delete every second frame to create a flicker effect. You can also animate the color. To do this, duplicate the layer again, and in the Effect Controls panel, click the stopwatch icon next to Shadow Color to add first keyframe. Repeat this process until the end. Then, move few frames forward and change the shadow color to sky blue. With the eyedropper tool, you can match the same color for other shadows. Oh, I almost forgot to disable that text shadow. Now, you can repeat the same steps. Move forward a few frames, copy those keyframes, and paste them. Then, change the color to whatever you prefer. 